pretty tempting to move up to a 2021. Hey everybody, Cruise Man here at Shawnee Honda in Shawnee, Oklahoma, finally to test ride the 2021 Honda Goldwing Tour. Now this is an airbag model, which is the first time I've ridden an airbag model, so we don't have the glove box. But I really like this uh, kind of two-tone red, black, gray. I think this is probably my favorite color combination on the 2021 model because I'm not a big fan of the matte black. So obviously the star of the show is the trunk and I brought two helmets with me because I cannot get these two helmets to fit in my 2018 Goldwing. So just to satisfy my own curiosity, we're gonna see if those helmets will fit in this new larger Goldwing trunk. So I'm gonna have Don come in a little closer. Now I've got a uh, Cymax 2, or actually, yeah, this is a 2. Now it's got a, uh, it's probably not a fair test because it's got the GoPro hanging off the front here. So I don't know if it'll fit with that. And then we've got Ricky's helmet, which is an Arai 3 quarter. But look at that, even with the GoPro, <laughs> I can't do that if I take the Bluetooth headsets off of both helmets and the GoPro off of my helmet, no way in hell I can get those two helmets to fit in my 2018. I've tried them sideways, upside down. I've seen other people do it online. I've never been able to get it to work with these two helmets. And they go right in this new trunk. So, boy, I might have to have this bigger, this bigger trunk. Let's see if it'll close. Oh yeah, no problem. On my bike, even if I can get both helmets squeezed in somehow, there's no way it'll close. That's the problem, it won't close. So this new trunk, um, it's pretty tempting, pretty tempting to move up to a 2021. I wish Honda was gonna offer these bigger trunks in the 2018 color, but I don't think they're going to. You probably have to buy one and have it repainted to match your bike and now you're talking thousands of dollars by the time you're all said and done so that's probably not going to happen but what else is new about this 2021 goldwing is the seat they have not only have they put a little decoration back here on the back of the seat you can see the little goldwing emblem but the seat has a different kind of cover it's kind of a almost a suede like finish but not not to the point that I think it's going to be real sticky. I think you'll still be able to slide around on it. We'll know here in a minute because I'm going to take it for a test ride. The, uh, the paint on this bike really looks nice. I love the metallic red and it's got a lot of the gray, the silver accents and the, the silver accents even have a little design kind of uh, printed into them. So they're not just silver, they actually have a little bit of a geometric design. It's kind of cool. The other thing you get with the 2021 airbag model is you get the little extended armrests from Honda. It doesn't come on the non-airbag model, but it does come on the airbag model. And all airbag models are DCT transmissions. You also have a new cool lot of little chrome badge down here to show you the DCT transmission. So, all in all, I'm pretty impressed with the looks of the bike. And I love the fact that this bike still has the chrome mufflers, the chrome pipes. I, think, I just think it really looks nice. I, I, I much prefer this to the matte black and the combination metallic matte black. But uh, I think we ought to get this thing out on the road and give it a try. What do you think? Let's do it. Okay, getting ready to take a ride on this brand new 2021 Honda Goldwing Tour airbag model. And let's just see, looks like there are, I'm trying to see how many miles. Look at that, zero miles, never been ridden. And this, uh, I mentioned in my intro, the bike has uh, the bigger trunk, has the new seat with the uh, suede-like seat covers. And 
you can in fact still slide around it's not as slippery as the uh, previous year model or year models but it's pretty comfortable now I'm riding it in econ mode because that's kind of what I'm used to riding in and I want to see how it compares of course it is a uh, you know it's a Honda Goldwing so it's super smooth very plush I'm going to ride the exact same route that I rode last year when I test rode the 2020 Goldwing but today is a little different I've got Don Smith with me and he is going to be recording me as I ride one other uh, feature of the 2021 Goldwing that I failed to mention earlier I couldn't remember but it uh, I knew there was another thing it had and that is the XM antenna is now included. Let's see how it handles this bump coming up. Yeah. It still gets that bottom out sound on that same bump as I got last year on the 2020. Some of you know this uh, in 2020 they changed the little, little rubber silicone bumper on the front suspension to a harder material and it uh, certainly does bottom out on a relatively small bump. Once you're on the highway, it's very smooth. But just as you would expect with a Honda Goldwing, it is uh, extremely smooth, plenty of power, However, I do like my larger F4 Customs windscreen. The stock windscreen just isn't quite wide enough. Now you can really tell the difference in the size of the trunk when you look in the rear view mirrors. You can see the trunk sticking out. Now I will have to say, I think Honda did an excellent job designing this larger trunk. It really fits the look of the bike and in fact, when you look at the 2021 side by side with the 2019 or 2020, the previous trunk actually looks kind of small. I think this size trunk actually fits the looks of the bike much better. It's just really, really well designed and they couldn't have gone any bigger. If they'd gone any bigger, it would have looked funny. But I think they found the perfect size to match this body style now some of you have mentioned in uh, some of the comments on my other videos that you wish they would have larger saddlebags to go with the larger trunk but honestly I think if they did that it would start looking really uh, rear end heavy I just don't think it would fit the look of the bike I think it'd make the front of the bike look kind of thin and narrow and it just look out of propor proportion. I think Honda has found a really good compromise with this bigger trunk. It's a little bit windy today, but it's nice weather. It's 63 degrees out, so it's really nice. You know, I mentioned uh, last year when I reviewed the 2020 Goldwing, I talked about uh, Shawnee Honda and how I rode my bike all the way up from Dallas to buy from Shawnee. Because they are really a great dealership to work with. And just so you know, Shawnee Honda is not sponsoring this video. They did agree to let me come up and test ride the 2021, which is very nice. Um, but uh, they are not paying for the video or any advertising. I just... Uh, I've done business with them on my last two Goldwings and have always found them to be extremely fair. Uh, not just good prices, but just good service. Uh, 
uh, we're kind of going back and forth here. Don and I, he's getting some rolling shots of me on the bike. But I think we're going to see some shortages of gold wings. I think there's a big demand right now, a big pent-up demand. And, of course, this is March 2021. Maybe by the middle of summer that will go away a little bit. We just don't know yet uh, what's going to happen. But certainly right now there is a real shortage of gold wings. And uh, if you can find one, get one. I really, really love this red. And I'm not a big red fan. That's not my... Uh, Normally, that would not be the color I would choose. But uh, given the choices that we have right now of gold wings, I really think the red is the better color choice. I just think it really, really looks nice. I love the uh, accent stripes. I love the, the fact that it's all uh, clear coat gloss paint. I don't care personally for the matte finish paint. If the metallic black was solid metallic without the matte black fender and the garnish and the uh, top shelter, I would probably opt for the metallic black, especially if they'd kept the chrome mufflers. I think the chrome looks really good with the matte, with the uh, metallic black, but they went with the matte black mufflers. And so I really love these chrome. It's kind of an old school thing. I just, I just think it's nice. I think it looks classier and I just, uh, it's just, this is my color thing. So if you're in the market for a 2021 Goldwing, you might want to contact Jason. I'll put his email address in the uh, description of this video and uh, contact him and see if they can get you one or maybe get you one on order. And uh, you know, why not just fly down to Shawnee, Oklahoma and pick it up? Jason did tell me I couldn't do any burnouts and I couldn't do any wheelies, so I'm sorry. Uh, uh, normally I would uh, entertain you with those riding skills, but today I've promised not to do that. I can tell you that this new seat, just after a couple of miles, is virtually the same seat as the uh, previous Goldwing. It has no more padding or cushion. It feels pretty much like the other seat, which is not bad, but you're, I don't think you're getting necessarily a more comfortable seat, but you are getting this new kind of a suede, a little bit classier looking seat cover than you had before, plus it's got the uh, kind of the gray piping stitched into it, which is nice. And on the uh, bagger model, it actually has some red stitching, which is kind of cool looking. Now the passenger seat, or the pillion, is supposedly... Uh, more comfortable because it has a little more lean to the uh, backrest. I'm not sure. I think I think the jury is still out as to whether or not that's going to be more comfortable or less comfortable. It just depends on the passenger. I think some people may like that additional angle and some people may not like it. Some people like to sit up straighter. So we'll just have to see uh, as more and more people ride these new 2021 Gold Wings. Uh, what people think of that new seat, that new uh, pillion backrest. But as far as the suspension, uh, no changes that I can tell. It's basically the same uh, suspension setup that we had on the 2020 bike. And uh, you can judge that for what it's worth. I think uh, for me, somebody, a rider my size, it's fine. Uh, it's very comfortable on the highway. It feels very planted. 
Uh, in my opinion, this is still the best motorcycle made today. And it's probably the last of an era. I don't know how much longer a Honda will be making these gold wings. So this is probably the best gold wing that's ever been built. And my recommendation would be is if you've ever dreamed of owning a gold wing, now is probably a good time to get one. Um, yes, they're expensive, but they're worth it. They are bulletproof. I love the DCT transmission. I, I, I really honestly believe the 2020-2021 transmission is an improvement over my 2018. It seems to shift smoother. It definitely downshifts smoother. So for that, I think it's uh, a big improvement. I would also like to uh, take some time to thank Shawnee Honda for letting me come up and test ride this motorcycle today. Thank you again. And anybody in the market for a 2021 Goldwing, contact Jason and uh, see when they're able to get them. They're hard to get right now. Uh, don't think you're going to get the discounts on gold wings that you used to get because the uh, demand is much greater than the supply right now. There just simply are not very many of these around. So they sell them as fast as they get them. In fact, I was going to come up yesterday. I'm sorry. I was going to come up today to do the test ride. And the bike I was going to test ride, they already sold. Uh, so just within the last couple of days, they sold it. And... I had to wait on another bike to come in and for them to build it and, and get it uh, put together so I could do the test ride. So these things are extremely popular right now. And uh, if you want one, I think you better get your name on the list because Honda is not producing as many as they used to. Now, if you like this video, you can do me a big favor. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like the video. And don't forget to click on that subscribe button down underneath the video. And if you click on that little bell icon, YouTube will notify you whenever we come out with a new video. So I want to thank you again for joining me on Cruise Man's Garage. And I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.